Our planet's future is in the balance. Antarctica's ice, the Amazon rainforest, Russia's permafrost and ocean currents have all been identified as tipping points in the Earth's system. Today, the scientist that first described them warns the majority of them are now active, showing signs of tipping over. The climate situation is both high risk now and urgent, and in my view that's the definition of an emergency, meaning if we carry on the way we're going, we are indeed going to cross some damaging tipping points in the climate. Tipping points are any part of the Earth that can be pushed from one state, past a point of no return, to another. Take the lungs of our planet, the Amazon rainforest. So the Amazon rainforest is an extraordinary system where the trees support themselves by recycling the rainfall they need. But if we chop too many trees down or the climate's drying and fires take too many trees out, well, the forest will lose its capacity to support itself and potentially collapse, losing this incredible harbour of biodiversity and life support for us. And it's also, I suppose, storing lots of carbon, which once released into the atmosphere only makes it warmer still. Exactly. Uh, losing the Amazon rainforest could mean an extra 90 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide returning to the atmosphere and adding to the warming. Just this year, ITV News has witnessed record forest burning and drastic change in other tipping points. Like coral reefs, potentially doomed this century once the temperature and acidity of the ocean passes certain levels. We were in Greenland, where melting is happening at unprecedented rates. Here, meltwater may already be influencing the distribution of fish and their predators. That's the thing about tipping points. They could trigger others. Its meltwaters are heading into the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. They're slowing down the great overturning circulation of the Atlantic Ocean. We know from Earth's past that that drags the ring of rainfall around the tropics southwards so it will impact the monsoons in West Africa, in South America and around the planet in India. And by leaving more heat in the Southern Ocean it can also contribute to melting the Antarctic ice sheets. Such a cascade suggests even the moderate amounts of warming we're currently on course for could have dire consequences. The Earth is complex and the science uncertain but given the risks isn't it wise to err on the side of caution? Tom Clark, News at 10. And Tom is here, of course. Look, we talk about this often enough, do we not? But it could hardly be more serious, right? I know. I mean, if you look at, if you take this study at face value, what these guys are saying is given the warming we're already committed to from the amount of emissions that are going on now, we, are, we have lost control of what we currently think of as the planet that we inhabit. Now, it is important to say mm. that some other climate scientists think the whole argument of the tipping point science is quite speculative. It's a very complex system. Certainly when you get to the point of one tipping point cascading into mm -hmm. another, as we explained in that graphic there, we just don't know how the system's going to res respond. It's quite a complex thing. But even they will admit now, given this very dangerous experiment we are running with the planet by heating it up gradually over decades, we are possibly in the area where it's only reasonable to speculate. Mm. I should add one thing. You look at this and you think, well, shouldn't we just, you know, maybe give up and enjoy the life we're having? Because if we can't stop it, what's the point? That's, I hear that argument sometimes. But Quite a strange argument. It but is anyway, an odd let's, argument. Let's but you, carry people on, sometimes yeah. you get that, yeah, they tweet yeah. you and say these ridiculous yeah. things. But some of these things will take, unfold on the scale of centuries or even millennia, mm. particularly some of these ice sheets melting. And it might take um, hundreds of years for the Greenland ice sheets mm. to melt. If we can curtail warming now, keep it as low as we possibly can, mm. we might extend what would be a centuries long melting ice cap to millennia, something affecting coral reefs from decades to maybe a couple of centuries, which would buy our ancestors yeah. quite a lot more time to adapt to the very different place the planet Earth is going to be once we've gone.